Welcome to the Answers for Elders radio show. Meet the trusted experts who will give you straight answers and will help guide you on the path of later life care. Now, here's your host, founder, caregiver, and CEO, Suzanne Newman. And welcome back, everyone, to the Answers for Elders radio network. And we are at the very uh, last foundational principle of wellness. And before we start with physical, mm-hmm. why don't, could you mind like summarizing what we've talked about? Do you remember up the top of your oh, yeah. <laughs> So we, we talked about emotional wellness. We talked about emotional wellness um, being able to in, in engage with other individuals uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, and, and feel good about certain decisions uh-huh. and whatnot. We talked about environmental wellness, the environment that we live in, you know, right. is it aesthetically pleasing? Does it, is it, does it feel inviting? Um, safety, um, yeah. being safe in our environments, um, feeling a sense of um, I'm okay and, and I, I, I feel loved and, and secure in my environment. Mm-hmm. We talk, talk about occupational, one of my favorites, yep. um, occupational driving a sense of purpose and legacy mm-hmm. in our lives, um, mm-hmm. spiritual wellness as well, con- being connected to a higher power and a higher belief mm-hmm. uh, system. Um, intellectual wellness. We just talked about intellectual wellness and using our You're muscles. You're amazing. You remember all these. <laughs> intellectual. <laughs> um, we also talked about social wellness and, yes. and, and all the key principles of right. the eight dimensions and relationships, and relationships mm-hmm. as well. Um, and, and now, but not least, it's physical wellness. Mm-hmm. Um, eating right. Eating right. Um, you know, walking, yeah. movement. Movement. All yeah. of those things. Yeah. yeah. So balance. Um, using our core. So physical wellness, um, thank you for mentioning eating right, because physical wellness is more than just, you know, lifting weights well, and I doing exercise. Right away. So many seniors that live alone right mm-hmm. now, they're not eating right no. because they don't have the ability to cook or chop or do the things that would contribute to a good quality of life. Correct. Um, and so, you know, oftentimes they're just eating junk or, yeah. or, you know, uh, TV dinner, TV or- dinners, fast foods, mm-hmm. um, lots of leftovers, which, um, I'm not a fan of myself necessarily. Cause I honestly forget them and then they get <laughs> <laughs> freezer burn. Oh, yeah. Um, but absolutely. You know, when we look mm-hmm. at, um, the dining experience itself is it's, are we eating right? Are we eating the right things? Is it low in sodium? Is it diverse? Yeah. Um, we had short braised beef um, tips. Yes. Oh my God. They were so good. You should have been here. Suzanne. Oh. They were delicious. Ah, they were the best. She just um, me. I know. And I have another, uh, so um, we had a um, Cassie who was here. She was doing a training for our staff members. She's on a Mediterranean diet, but because we have such a diverse menu, yeah. just like you would find in a restaurant. She where, probably was easily able to find whatever she needed. Exactly. Yeah. And so again, we go back to, to love me is to know me. We learn what some of our dietary restraints mm-hmm. are on some of our residents. Um, some of our residents, unfortunately, have, um, you know, di- you know, diabetes, diabetes or, or um, yeah. different diets. Maybe it's a puree diet. Maybe it's a limitation mm-hmm. certain things. Um, maybe it is um, following a keto diet or a Mediterranean diet, or, you know, it's, it's also gluten-free. I, I was gluten-free uh, sadly for a short while, but, um, but yeah, it, it's, it's being able to accommodate these mm-hmm. certain diets to mm-hmm. keep our residents physically yeah. healthy. Yeah. Um, and for, for a long period of time, um, and physical wellness, of course, if you don't eat the right proteins, sure. right. You can exercise, you're not going to feel good. No. Um, and, and so making sure that our residents are eating a well-balanced diet mm-hmm. so that they continue to physically do well in, in their lives throughout the entire, right. you know, right. course of them living in our communities or, or elsewhere. You know, and, and it's so important that you say that because um, I know when I was taking care of my mom, mm-hmm. um, she had, uh, you know, COPD. Mm-hmm. And because she had COPD from the years, she actually would get too winded and she didn't have the strength really to walk very far. Mm-hmm. So she, she was in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. She could, you know, get out to go to the bathroom or do whatever, but it was hard for her. Right. And, um, you know, I was amazed at when she moved into a community, there was physical therapy, right. there was occupational right. therapy. There were things that were available on, um, right. you know, they right away, you know, they, they helped her, you know, she was definitely into the sweets more than anything else. Yeah. Most seniors are. Right. But the thing that was amazing is they spent the time 
to talk about, you know, what, what kind of things, other things right. do you like, right. you know, and they made efforts. And I, I know one of the things that um, just blew me away is her dementia progress, mm -hmm. whereas she was not eating her food. And mm -hmm. I couldn't understand. And finally had a care conference. And I said, well, what does mom get with every meal? You know, I just trying to figure right. out what's not, you know what they were missing? And she didn't know how to speak about it. Mm. She like, she was a milk drinker. Interesting. She loved a glass of milk with yeah. every meal. And would you believe once we did that and integrated that, she started eating her dinner. Wow. Isn't that crazy? It's the little things. But it's it, the it, little things. But yeah. to her, that was that, you know, that milk was the grounding of making sure that she would eat the rest right. of her meal. Now, I'm not a milk drinker, so yeah. I don't really care. Right. But a lot of people, that's their, that's their thing. And it's a trigger. Mm -hmm. And so again, when we find out these triggers in our residents' lives, we can help mm -hmm. improve their lives mm -hmm. um, and their livelihood as well. And, and you guys have a wellness, physical wellness type program. Correct. So tell me a little bit about those. So we do partner up with... Um, physical therapy. We have Genesis uh -huh. here on site. And so physical, um, occupational uh -huh. and speech therapy is available to all of our uh -huh. residents who need it. Um, that is something that we, that's a third party vendor that we provide here on site. Uh -huh. We also work with different, um, home health agencies as needed for Good. additional support. And of course we have our own, um, exercise programs here on site. Um, yesterday we did uh, yoga. <laughs> nice. So we were doing chair yoga, and um, we also have strength and balance. Um, mm -hmm. um, you, I mean, so many, there's so many things that are great about that, mm -hmm. and and there's so many programs that um, seniors can tap into. Whether yep. they're in the community, right. there's also stuff online that right. you can tap into and learn. You know, chair aerobics and things like that. Right. I've seen. YouTube series mm -hmm. that people actually can watch that's really cool. Well, absolutely. We we found such an importance of physical wellness that we have uh, an actual Kathleen is our fitness instructor mm -hmm. on site here at Silver Lake of Everett. Kathleen is wonderful. Kathleen is wonderful. And, and she actually does all of our fitness classes here for all of our residents because physical their physical wellness is so important to keeping our mm -hmm. residents the key word here is independent. Yeah. I feel that a lot of our seniors are so afraid of losing their independence. But again, going back to that, that age old saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. And so when you're not exercising your brain, yeah. when you're not exercising your muscles, um, some of our re residents have said, you know, it's too far to, for me to walk some of the hallways. Well, I'm like, yeah. but that's, what's keeping you engaged. Exactly. That's like active. Exactly. Um, I would ran into, um, uh, Marie yesterday, and again, I'm living here on site, um, and she was walking, uh, she actually walks almost a mile inside our community. Good so her. she goes from one hallway to the other and um, <laughs> she's she's adorable. And, and so one of the things that she said, she goes, I have to do this for my independence. Um, I have to keep going. Um, and the luxury of being able to walk indoors and you know the safety of her own mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a mansion. You know, she wouldn't be able to have that opportunity within, you know, 1200 square feet of her own mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. um, or if the training outside where it's just, it's just not safe to walk outside mm -hmm. um, or just using all the fitness equipment that we well, have. Well, and I think the other thing, it goes without saying that wherever you go, um, there's a safety factor. You Correct. Know, in, yep. Where at home, you know, you may be in a bathroom that doesn't have the proper safety guards right. in place. And so you have more confidence to walk Correct. because you have that railing to hang on to. Yeah. You have, you know, a level ground, you're right. not worried about an uneven floor right. or something like that. So a lot of us in our homes, you know, even to go into other rooms, we'll have a little bit of a of a step up or right. step down based if it's an uh, addition in our homes or right. something like that, especially older homes. Right. That was, that's very common. And, yeah. you know, forgetting that little step could mean a fall. Could be a um, miss, a huge misstep. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Um, and, and so being able, like to your point, Suzanne, having Kathleen on site to use mm -hmm. a gym equipment, we have a new step. We have two a recombinant bikes that our residents mm -hmm. can use. We have the treadmills. Um, weight, I think, you know, um, there's a common mis uh, misconception that our seniors, once we start aging, we're no longer able to lift weights. Well, no, that's false. In fact, yeah. we encourage 
um, weightlifting because yes. it actually helps build um, strength. strength and muscles and, and elasticity. Um, stretching, you know, the number one cause of falls is um, the lack of muscle use yeah. um, and, and also not stretching enough. So, um, and we, I think we can all relate to that. Yeah. If you've been sitting for a long time yeah. and then all of a sudden you go to get up and it's like, oh my gosh, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm hurting yeah. or I feel bad. It's like the idea is, you know, I try really hard because I sit a lot in my job. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I really try to is make an effort every half an hour to get up. Right. If it's just to get up to walk around my living room or, or you know, right. or have a phone call on my feet. Right. It's making sure that I'm always standing up every 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not sitting for hours at a right. time. And I think that's a lot of what our seniors are doing. They sit there by themselves, mm -hmm. you know, watch TV. Right. And they've been sitting there for hours and hours. Right. And, and then they get up to go to the bathroom and they fall. Yeah, exactly. The muscle, um, the muscle is not there. Um, you know, we have to train ourselves, right? Right. It's, it's, it's getting back into different good mm -hmm. habits. Mm -hmm. Um, so physical wellness is important again, just for every single day use for, um, enhancing independence, flexibility, right. Um, being able to participate in all the amazing programs that we have as yes, well. So, yes, um, and, and again, we have our instructors on site, we have physical therapy on site. Um, we do everything that we can to provide physical wellness at, at every corner so I that our residents that. can, can do that I easily. That. So Elena, this has been such an amazing, um, uh, segment and, and a series that you've done and, you know, we're so proud to be affiliated, be affiliated with Morning Stars in your living. And um, to those of you that are interested, please go to Answers for Elders. There's a little badge right there on our site, on our homepage, that you can go right to the uh, website and see all the different types of communities that may be in your area. And in the meantime, there's obviously, there's a number to call, et cetera. And Elena, I'm so glad you were with us today. Thank you so much. And, and to all the listeners, thank you. God bless you. And we appreciate each and every one yes, of you. And I'm sure that this, the last of this, since we had so many streams of your first four series, um, that you're waiting for this. So we're really glad that we were able to be here. And thanks again yeah. for being a part of it. Thank you. We at Answers for Elders, thank you for listening. Did you know that you can discover hundreds of podcasts in our library on senior care? So visit our website and discover our decision guides that will help you also navigate decision making. Find us at AnswersForElders.com.